today. We honor the life and mourn the passing of a great man. A man whose rich and powerful voice inspired so many of us, Mr. James Earl Jones. When I first heard the news of his passing, it affected me more profoundly than I anticipated that it would. I will admit that I wept, and even a week later, it is difficult for me to speak on this because I still feel the loss of this great man so deeply. And though I never knew him personally, I wish to honor his memory in the only way that I can. I only knew him from his impressive body of work, but in order to prepare for creating this channel six years ago, in order to attempt to emulate his voice, I listened to countless hours of interviews to study his cadence. In these interviews, I learned his character. Not the characters he played, but the character of the man himself. His kindness, his warmth, and how he lived. His voice and his performances had always inspired me from the time I was a small boy. But more than this, as I learned about his life, I saw that he was not just an amazing actor. He did not just have a powerful commanding voice that conveys authority, kindness, and at times even menace. Of all of his accolades and achievements in life, I learned above all else, he was a good man. A loving husband and father, a member of our armed forces, a man who determined not to let prejudice take root in his heart but to spread love instead, even when he was mistreated himself. This kindness, this nobility of the soul, is something the world needs now, possibly more than ever before. James Earl Jones was a great man who left an indelible mark on the world, sharing his talent and his voice with us all. A voice that no one will ever be able to replicate. Our hearts go out to the Jones family as they grieve the loss of this wonderful man. Our thoughts and prayers are with them through this difficult time. And to my viewers who are believers, take this comfort. He is in a far, far better place, for he was a Christian. And though he had a long and distinguished career on stage and screen that many could only hope for, James Earl Jones said recording the Bible was his greatest honor. In light of this, I think it only fitting to leave you with the voice of the man himself as he recites a verse from the 11th book of the Gospel of St. John. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. The legacy and memory of James Earl Jones will live on in our hearts and minds forever. And though he is gone, he will never be forgotten. May he rest in peace.